there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Autumn Moon the Mage. This is going to be a general message in regards to love for Taurus. Um, it is general, so it might not resonate. If you were drawn to watch the video, then perhaps there's a message here for you. But if the overall message doesn't appear to be yours, then just take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. We're starting first with the Moonology Oracle cards to get an overall um, of your situation, Taurus, with this person you're connecting with. Can we please get a card for Taurus and the person they are connecting with romantically? Um, the energy is gaining momentum, is what the card says there. Let me read to you what it says in the book. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building, too. Where do you want to go, and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on desired outcome, or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track. Well, that's nice. Either way, you're on the right track, um, because things are moving forward for you. Uh, <coughs> in the past, when I've read this, I felt like the card was calling for the person to take action, but it kind of sounds like reading it this time that um, either you can meditate on it and focus on like drawing it in, or you can uh, make the courage, courageous commitment to take more practical steps. I mean, whatever you decide though, it's the right decision. Whatever it is that you're wanting to happen in this connection, it looks like, um, you can make it happen. You can manifest it. You can do it. Let's take a look now at the person you're connecting with and see how they feel about you. How does the person connecting with Taurus feel about them? How does this person feel about Taurus, please? How does the person connecting with Taurus feel about this? How does this person feel about Taurus, please? how they came. First card we get here was the Three of Pentacles, um, which is apparently Capricorn energy. So you might be dealing with the Capricorn side. <coughs> the Three of Pentacles is a desire to uh, build together, you know, collaborate together, to work together. Um, it can be a card indicating friendship, but it's really uh, about wanting to come together and build something. All right, we'll definitely clarify that. Uh, also, we have justice here, okay? And this has to do with fairness and truth and um, balance and wanting things to be fair, wanting them to be true, and wanting them to be balanced. So the Ten of Pentacles, um, this is the, them feeling like they could have... Oh, sorry. <laughs> My phone just fell down. <laughs> Feeling like they could have um, everything with you. The Ten of Pentacles, that's everything that 
we want in our lives, like the physical aspects, um, the material things, and feeling like you could have that with someone or possibly having that with them. Uh, this could be someone that you're already connected to that you share um, a family with because this is this is a family card as well. But definitely feeling like they could have that forever kind of commitment with you, that stability and um, that comfort of home, you know. The two of wands, this is wanting to plan for the future. Uh, look to the, in this, in this, in the two of wands, we've, we've made a choice, we've picked a wand, and we're looking at this globe, and we're trying to figure out how do we get to it, how do we get to this choice, and this is wanting to build together with this card here as well. Both of these indicate wanting to plan for the future. The Knight of Pentacles um, is somebody who wants to take the right steps, you know. They're taking their time because they don't want to mess it up, you know. They want to make sure that every every step they take forward is the right step. And they're definitely moving towards you. They definitely want to continue moving forward with you. Um, but they recognize it might take time, okay, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. But they also uh, want things to go down right. They want to make sure that each step is the proper step. Uh, and the Knight of Pentacles, this could mean two things. That's interesting that we got ten and nine. The Knight of Pentacles is about somebody who, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry, um, who seems to have it all, somebody who's very attractive, uh, somebody who has everything except this 10, you know? In the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who's single, and they have all of the things that they could possibly want in their material world, but they don't have anyone to share it with. And this person is very attractive. They sometimes don't even realize that they're missing out on something, you know? Um... Uh, but this can also be like a card of self, you know, wondering if they should focus on themselves, wondering if they should focus on their own stability. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, but we will definitely clarify these for more information. So let's take a look for Taurus. Can you please clarify the Three of Pentacles for how this person feels about Taurus? Please clarify, oh, please clarify the Three of Pentacles. Please clarify the Three of Pentacles. We get the Nine of Wands, which somebody, which is somebody who's not giving up on something. Uh, sometimes people look at this as a defensive card, but I really don't. I see it more as just determination. This person ha has been hurt, okay? They've been hurt. They've been injured. <laughs> but they're not giving up. They These wands are very important to them. And they're not letting go of it. So this is, yeah, very determined energy. This person really wants to build with you. They really want this foundation with you. And they're not giving up the idea of that. Okay, interestingly, we get the Justice card again, which is about um, fairness and about truth and about balance. Uh, this is a Libra card, by the way. You might be dealing with a Libra. But um, they're not they're not giving up, but they want this. They want this fairness. They want this justice. They want this balance. Okay, we also get the Five of Wands, <coughs> which is a card of conflict and competition. See how these two people are kind of fighting with each other? And um, this indicates, I really feel like with these three cards here, this person, they want this foundation with you. They want to build with you. Um, but they want it to be done right. Like, they want... They want it to be done fairly, uh, and they're not giving up. They're still, like, fighting for it. And this is also a card that indicates that they're fight. They're willing to fight. They're willing to put in the work. There's conflict here, but they're not giving up. They're not, like, um, they're going to put up a fight. They're going to. 
this is not a giving up card, but it also can indicate that there is some kind of competition. Like maybe there's someone else that they're uh, fighting with, or perhaps that there's people in your lives outside of the connection that are against it. Okay, so there might be some aspect of people who aren't encouraging the connection, and so this is like wanting to move forward and willing the either way with the five of wands this is like a leveling up card you know you you don't you're not folding you're going to get to the next level especially paired with the nine of wands this is someone who isn't giving up they're just not we see the justice card again can you please clarify the justice now this person feels that for us. Please clarify the justice card. Um, oddly, I have the song in my head. Uh, which is actually a Christian song, um, and it's a song about Jesus. But the words that keep coming up in my mind are the truth and the light uh, in regards to that justice. Um, so perhaps there's some kind of truth that they want to bring uh, out with the light, the truth and the light. Um, and perhaps there is... Um, yeah, some kind of balance that's needed. Maybe there's something they need to share with you in order, and maybe they feel the situation is not balanced because there is some truth that's not being shared between the two of you. <coughs> Excuse me. Possibly. But let's see here. Can you please clarify? Clarify the justice card. Okay. We get the Queen of Wands, which is, and the Queen of Swords. Uh, the Queen of Wands is uh, fire energy, so that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Swords is air energy, so that's um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. <coughs> so that, they could be either one of those. Um, they could be any of those signs, it's not necessary that's just the energy it's just the energy here but this is very passionate energy and this is very like logical energy and it's possible with the justice that they're trying to find balance between the two you know that they feel very passionate uh and they want to like express that but they also feel the need to be very logical the queen of swords sometimes comes across as kind of icy because um she wants to protect herself so she's willing to, like, cut away things that aren't going to serve her. She's willing to say, no, no, this isn't okay. The Queen of Swords wants things done the way that she wants them done. And uh, it's kind of protective energy, like I said, kind of icy, but it's also very logical. She's not leading with her heart so much. She's leading more with her mind. And it's possible that this person feels a lot of passion and they're trying to be really logical about their approach in trying to balance these two energies. Let's take a look at that Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, uh, we get the World card and the Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. The World card is um, 
it talks about cycles ending and new cycles beginning, okay? Things that need to come to an end so something else can begin. It can also be a, tra a travel card, so you might be at a distance from this person, but uh, the Eight of Pentacles is a dedication to uh, perfection, okay? It's somebody who's committed to working until they get it right. And so something here needs to be, some cycle needs to end so a new cycle can begin. But this person is very dedicated to that. They, uh, they're going to get it right. So they're going to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying to reset this cycle until they get it right. Because they believe that you are uh, their future. The Ten of Pentacles, this is a commitment. This is forever kind of connection. And they believe that you are. So they're going to keep resetting and keep working at this until they get it right. Let's take a look at the Two of Wands. Which actually is also kind of a travel card. In this card, he's holding up that globe and trying to figure out how to get to what he wants. And so, uh, again, that in, that's an indicator that you might be at a distance from this person. But... Can you please clarify the two of wands, please? This really does feel like an established connection. Like this isn't someone you've just met. This is someone that you've uh, had a bit of a connection with or possibly a long time connection with. Uh, can you please clarify the two of wands? Please clarify the Two of Wands. The Sun. They want to, they want, <laughs> they want to chase down what makes them happy. They want to find happiness, and they want to go. Um, they want to go for it. This is them wanting to plan how to get there. What makes them happy? That sun card is just so so bright and yellow. Uh, the sun energy, though, it's 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 glorious. It's magnificent. It's the best feeling. You just literally feel like you're glowing, and you're so happy and. Um, I know you've felt this before because we all have, so it's an incredible feeling, and that's what they're looking for. That's what they want, and they want to plan how to get there, <coughs> whatever makes them happy. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning, you know, um, starting fresh. Uh, and Pentacles, this is like that Three of Pentacles there, wanting to build a foundation, wanting to... Pentacles, like I said, represent commitment. They represent stability. So they want a new beginning um, that's stable and committed. And with the death card tied to it, it's possible that something needs to end in order to... Uh, this, by the way, is Scorpio energy, so you might be dealing with Scorpio. And the sun is Leo energy, so you might be dealing with the Leo. But this is recognizing that perhaps something needs to end in order to get to that new beginning, okay? In order to get to that sun energy, uh, something might need to end, which is also showing here, you know, with this world card, they're going to reset this cycle over and over. That's what they want to do. They're committed to continuing to try. And so something here might need to end, though. Something here might need to die, for lack of a better word. Can you please clarify the Knight of Pentacles? Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Look at the Knight of Pentacles. It's I was it was weird because look look this card I feel like tried to come out before but it flipped back and I saw it and I thought that's funny 
that the Knight of Pentacles is moving towards the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, like they're moving towards, which, <coughs> yes, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's single, okay? Um, I mean, I suppose, I suppose that this person, there's another way, now that I look at this, there's another way I could read this, but um, it's not how I interpreted it at all. The Nine of Pentacles could be you, okay? This could be how they see you, and this is just them determined to get to you that nine of pentacles. Let me see if I can get further clarification. Can you, can, can you clarify the knight of pentacles for me? <coughs> Excuse me. Can you please clarify the knight of pentacles? Okay, we get the four of wands. Which makes me feel like this Nine of Pentacles must be you, uh, and that they're trying to get towards you because the Nine, of, the Four of Wands. This is a celebration of commitment between two people. Okay, uh, this is a celebration of that union. Uh, it can be a marriage card, it can be a soulmate card, but it's about celebrating a connection, and they want to get to you. This Nine of Pentacles, this person that they think of as very attractive, not just physically, but their whole life is attractive, you know, their, um, the choices that may, they make, the, um, the things that they surround themselves with, all of it is attractive, all of the, what you surround yourself with, you yourself, and the decisions you make, all of that is attractive to this person, and they are moving towards you slowly, and they want to celebrate a union with you. They, I mean, it's shown up a couple of times that they, um, that they want to start, they want to build with you. And this is also an indication of that building together. Let's take a look at that Nine of Pentacles there. Please clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. We get the Hermit. Okay, this is someone who's gone with it, and they're really thinking about. They're really thinking about this something. Oh my gosh! So many cards came out. We're going to put the four that came out in addition, okay? It's a lot of pentacles, though, which is funny because this is pentacles. So it might actually, it might have to do with finances in some way. But um, <coughs> we get the hermit and the five of swords. And this person, they see you as uh, this attractive person, you know? Um, and they're really thinking about you a lot, but they kind of feel, they feel... Like, maybe they haven't won, like, or maybe they can't win you with this card. This indicates defeat, okay? Um, it can also indicate uh, winning in such a way that um, you don't feel like you've won. Because sometimes if you've, if you've done it, if you've succeeded at something, but you had to hurt somebody in the process or you had to uh, break out of your own like moral compass or something along those lines. If you had to break trust with yourself, okay, you didn't follow your own intuition, and then sometimes it feels like it's not actually a victory. So they see you as this nine of pentacles, okay, and they're thinking about it a lot, but they're, this is also, it's like worry. This, the five of swords is very in their head. They're kind of stressing about it. They're worried about it. They want to win but they're not sure how, and they're not sure they can with this card here. Um, yeah, let's take a look now at Tarot again to get advice for you in regards to this connection.
Can I please get advice for Taurus in regards to this connection? <coughs> Excuse me. Advice for Taurus, please. Sorry, I haven't been feeling well, so I keep getting, like, choked up, kind of. <laughs> I needed to take a drink. The first card you get here is the Temperance card, um, which is about having patience, okay? Uh, it says here, seek balance and create a calm atmosphere. So uh, the situation is calling for patience, which, I mean, you've already been informed that the energy is gaining momentum, so it's moving in. Whatever you desire, like, it's moving in that direction. Uh, continue to focus your energy on it and also to, um, to take steps for it, towards it if you want. But this is a call for patience. Sagittarius, uh, uh, this is Sagittarius energy. Sorry, so you might be dealing with Sagittarius. I was thinking sometimes it, this is a card that indicates that, uh, like, timing is part of the solution, you know, like things have to happen at a certain time. Queen of Pentacles, which <laughs> it says, focus on your home, family, success, and abundance. So, you know, focus on nurturing your, uh, the people around you and, um, yeah, focus on your home, family, success, and abundance. And then the Four of Swords, which is another card saying, you know, patience. Take time out and the answer will come. So if there is some question that you're looking for an answer to, uh, they're saying, you know, take your time with it. Don't rush into it. Focus on yourself. Focus on the people in your, focus on your family and the people around you. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is also another self card, like the Nine of Pentacles can be about focusing on self-care, self-care, and, like, getting where we need to be, you know? So, it can be a call for that as well. We're going to take a look now at the Lover's, the lover's Oracle. A message for you. We get a message for Taurus, please, in regards to this connection. For Taurus, please, in regards to this connection. All right, you get two cards here. The first one, which says, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. And the second one here, which says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. We are when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. <coughs> Which actually, I think both of these cards here, the Temperance and the Four of Swords indicate, I mean, are also suggesting the same thing, you know? Uh, sit back, go with the flow. Things are working out for you. They're moving in the direction you want them to, so that's all good information. This person seems very dedicated to continuing to try with you um, in this connection. I, it doesn't really, I don't really get a clear indication of where you are with this person, you know, like what kind of connection this is. Um, it doesn't feel like it's uh, new. Like I said, I don't feel like this is some new person in your life, some stranger that's just 
entering your life, but um, like it doesn't indicate if there's been trouble or if things are okay. I mean, other than this justice card that's shown up here, everything, um, they just seem to want to work towards you and building with you, you know, and which is great. It's great energy. So yay for Taurus. <laughs> That's everything I have for you, though. Thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you, if the video resonated, if it brought you clarity in any way, I'd love to hear about it. You could post in the comments below, or you could shoot me an email if you'd like a private conversation. My email address is listed in the description box. But thank you again for watching the video. Please remember to move forward with positive thoughts and positive words and hope. And, uh, um gratitude because when we're positive we draw in more things that uh, make us positive more things to be grateful for um, and more things to hope for so be positive so you draw all of that in for yourself and good luck out there I hope I see you back here again soon uh, have a great day